Hey everybody, it's Juice. And before you start saying foul, wait, stop, you can't do that, let me explain. This is a video about the F4E flight manual and I'm going to show you guys where you can find it for free. Uh, download it from the Phantom 2 Society, the F4 Phantom 2 Society. I'll give you a link to their download. If it doesn't work for you, you can always open it up in your own country if you do a Google search. I'm sure you can find it out there. So without stealing any more footage from Heatblur's, tra Heatblur's trailer, let's go ahead and bring up the manual. So this is pretty cool. You guys will see here that it is the 1979 version of the F4E flight manual. You won't get any of the changes. It does have, uh, it has changes one through nine, but uh, while this was in service all the way through to the early 90s, this aircraft right here would have had a lot more changes on top of it. So you won't have the most recent one before they retired it, but you'll have the basic information. So if you go to the table of contents, you've got your description, your normal procedures, emergency procedures, uh, auxiliary equipment, operating limitations, you've got your flight characteristics, systems operations, crew duties, all weather operation in chapter nine, and F4E flight performance or the performance data. You got some fold out illustrations and an index with alphabetical references and stuff in there. However, one of the things I wanna point out here is in the Air Force, all of your section threes are almost 100%, maybe 1000% your emergency procedure section. And when you see that, it looks like this on the border. You get this border around it and that's how you can quickly see it in a flight manual. So if you guys are making any checklists or any type of uh, procedures and everything uh, for yourselves so that you're doing a publication or anything, try to avoid using this unless it's for emergency procedures if you want to be accurate. You guys can do whatever you want, but this is a telltale sign that this is for emergency procedures right there. So it's pretty cool. Can't wait to see what we can do with this, uh, especially the multi-crew uh, capabilities and also the all-weather use and everything. So this link will be in the description below. If you guys can't open it uh, based on the country you're in right there uh, that you're currently in, go ahead and just do a Google search until you can find it. You'll probably find one from a video game, but just keep looking. You'll find some type of source or reference that you can get it from. It's pretty out there. Uh, I Googled it and I found a hundred references. Um, half of them were usable and then this one was the best one. So I'll leave a link and you guys have a great day. This is Juice. Cheers.